Stephanie Zhu. I work at the European Bioinformatics Institute uh, as the project manager for Biomed Bridges. Uh, that's a, a FP7 funded initiative that is aiming to bring together the 10 new emerging uh, research infrastructures in the biomedical sciences on the S3, so the European Strategy Forum for Research Infrastructures Roadmap. Uh, so these are new, big uh, research infrastructures that are um, distributed across Europe and they are in, uh, focused in different areas of, of uh, biological and medical sciences. Uh, the aim of Biomed Bridges is to, to provide data and service bridges between the different research infrastructures. In practice, that means that we're trying to link up data resources, available data resources from one community with those available from another community. And uh, there you basically almost have a, a process of several different steps where you need to, to start getting the communities to talk together. You need to have them agree on uh, what standards uh, and formats they, they need to be using or their data needs to be in. Uh, how it can be made accessible. Uh, so there's a, a huge learning curve in, in many cases to get everyone even on the same page. And then you need to actually uh, create uh, w what's necessary, uh, the vocabulary if you want that's necessary to actually uh, match up that data and link up that data. So you have uh, technological challenges as well as uh, to begin with actually more the, the uh, cultural challenges within the different scientific Biomed Bridges just started in January this year. It's a project that runs over four years in total with uh, just over 10 million euros and 21 partners. So uh, we don't have solutions yet, um, but the project is, is actually organized in, in construction work packages that will um, provide the technological uh, solutions to what we're trying to do and use cases. So there are, there are uh, five different use cases. And uh, the use cases involve, again, different communities. There's some overlap between the use cases and the communities they involve. Uh, one of them, for example, looks at uh, linking uh, biological images from different scales. So we're going from, from individual cells to entire tissues. We're looking at diseased and healthy tissues and linking that up, linking that back to genetic information for um, cancer, as an example. So you have uh, you have a, 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 a possibility to link all the way from a from a mutated uh, cancer from a cancer gene from a mutated genes gene to uh, the diseased tissue, and you can you can develop certain biomarkers from that when you're looking at the at the tissue at the image of the tissue. Uh, and then another use case involves linking up uh, the two different communities again. One looking at human patients. And we're using uh, diabetes and obesity as, uh, as examples to look into there. And another community that uses mice as model organisms uh, for, for mammals, and basically model organisms for human patients. And they're looking again uh, at diabetes in particular, um, and we're, we're literally translating between the terms these two different communities are using so that uh, data resources that are already available can be directly linked, uh, invisible to the user if you want, uh, rather than someone knowing what term is used in one community and what term is used in the other community, then having to access separately the existing data resources that will be linked up automatically, matched up, so that the user can log in, say, I have this condition, uh, this phenotype in the human, uh, what's, the, uh, what's the mouse model? Uh, that matches this basically. So it's, it's making very efficient use of, of data that's already there by linking it up. As the, the project is still relatively young, uh, so we don't have uh, uh, meetings that are, that are open coming up yet, but there will be a big meeting at the end of the project that will be completely open, big science meeting. So this will be in 2015 probably. And also as services are being developed uh, in Biomed Bridges, we'll have workshops and training. So that's a huge component of the project. And we will have user workshops where we're basically showing the tools, uh, the Biomed Bridges tools to users, showing them how to use them. Also get feedback during the earlier stages 
So we will have those events and of course those will be uh, communicated and publicized.